off this uh, episode with a little bit of words on Dwayne Wade. A sentimental segment. Mm -hmm. So being a Miami-based podcast, uh, Dwayne Wade has been part of our lives for as long as I can remember, really. He he was the reason that I got into basketball. Um, Seeing him uh, defeat the Mavericks, uh, I was probably, I think I was like 12 at the time. That was wild. And then throughout the years, going to Heat games and watching him dominate. I mean, he dominated the NBA. He, he's the, the third or maybe even second best. I'll make the, I can make the argument for a second best shooting guard of all time. Definitely third, I think. But I'm saying you can make the argument for second best. Yeah. Because he was way more efficient than Kobe Bryant was. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> um so he was way more efficient than Kobe Bryant. So he, there's the argument that he's a second. But he's definitely one of the best basketball players to ever play the game. Mm-hmm. He won three titles. He has a scoring championship. He has the NBA Finals MVP. He was been in the, the All-Star game for 13 years. Um, he was on all defense, all NBA first team. You know, he's literally one of the be- most sh- uh, block shots by a shooting guard of all time, you know. Definite Hall of Famer. Definite Hall of Famer. So for me, Dwayne Wade meant so much. Um, in South Florida, and um, he was definitely my favorite player, my favorite athlete of all time, and it's not even close. Um, when he went to the Bulls, I got a Dwayne Wade Bulls shirt. When he went to the Cavs, I didn't get that because fuck the Cavs. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was really thinking about it. And then the day that he came back, I went to the game um, with my boy Danny. And he, he didn't have a great game, but just seeing him back on that court, man, like it brought me so much, so many good emotions and, you know, reliving all the moments that I've seen him there. You know, the year, the summer before the big three, I went to a, a game of the playoffs against the Celtics. Mm-hmm. And it's clear this man was alone on that team. He carried, the, it was the only game they won in the series. They ended up losing 4 1. It was a terrible team. Yeah, that was. But they, they, Lost the series 4-1, but in that game, he hit like four back-to-back threes, and then he's staring at his hand and yelling <laughs> at his hand. And then during the Big Three era, I went to a game against the Pacers where he hit a buzzer beater, buzzer beater for the win, mm-hmm. and then the arena lost power. It was Holy it was shit. insanity. It was insanity. And then I, uh, just being able to witness, you know, his greatness, um, and I was really glad that he was able to get the farewell tour that he got, mm-hmm. and that I was able to see him play a few more times at least uh i'm gonna miss that dude man that that those last few games was pretty emotional man Uh, that's that's my guy you know so d wade gonna miss that dude and i'm glad to be a part of history yeah he definitely has uh, a soft spot in my heart as well uh i think as a miami as both of us being miami kids we we've watched him all our all our uh adolescent and and adult teenage life, and yeah. adult lives and he's become a part of us as i've grown up i've realized more and more that my game almost is not the same as his but i've watched him over the years and i've ha- i've um assimilated some of his moves into my into my game just because you, pick you see it court. right yeah, uh, obviously yeah, yeah, i'm yeah, not yeah. a professional no no colby's professional <laughs> let it rain rain dance but he, he's he's a transcendent player, like his mom said in that um, Bud Light commercial. He's he's more than than just a basketball player. Yeah, he is. His impact will be felt on the court and off the court for years to come. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 like you said, it's sad to see such a great player like that leave, especially since he's in our hometown. I don't think we're ever gonna get a player like that to be as influential like that ever in the heat organization which is sad but but obviously that happens to everyone i'm sure the bulls felt it with jordan and and the lakers feel it with kobe yeah but obviously miami will will bounce back it won't be quick but we're gonna have to have a rebuilding period and and hopefully Dwayne Wade will be there along the way. Yeah. I think that he's just like a a perennial symbol of hope. Like, every time he's on the court, like, you can never count the heat out. Like, you never know. Maybe not so much in his last couple of years mm-hmm. that he's older. 
But when he was younger, you know, that if he catches fire, like you can win any game. It doesn't matter. Yep. I mean, even in even this year, I mean, we beat the Warriors on a absurd three by Crazy Wade. Shot. Shouldn't have even gone in, but it went in. Why? Because it's Dwayne Wade, <laughs> and we needed one of those last D Wade moments where he stands on the scorers table. You know, um, I was glad that he had that moment, and um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, definitely gonna miss him too. Uh, he was definitely a showman. Yeah, he was. And I have to say, he had definitely the number one best nickname in the NBA. Flash. To me, the Flash. The Flash. I, I love that nickname. Shaq gave him that nickname. He also had the best pump fake I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even at age 37, where there's 16 years of scouting reports, do not <laughs> fall for the pump fake. People still fall for the pump fake. Mm -hmm. And he was so good. I, was, I really hope that he bounced back, like you said. And I do hope that... Maybe not immediately, but eventually he'll be part of the organization. Mm -hmm. He deserves a statue out there. Oh, for sure. He deserves a statue out there. For sure. Dwayne Wade's loss, not his literal loss, <laughs> but Dwayne there. Wade's loss in the basketball world um, will definitely be felt, especially in the Miami Heat. So, for sure. Needless to say, he's the goat in my eyes. <laughs> definitely mine, too. I mean, I, I guess we're biased, but yeah, still. <laughs> All right, D D Wade MV three, Father Prime. Yep. Till next time. Oh yeah, and fuck Paul Pierce. Yeah, that guy. Paul Pierce sucks. sucks. Paul Pierce sucks. Paul Pierce sucks. All right. Yeah, Paul Pierce sucks. Um, <laughs> so that's our podcast. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, we're going to try to be very uh, consistent here with the Game of Thrones. We want to give you guys our opinions after each episode. So it's going to be a lot more frequent posting of our podcast. Um, we're going to grind it out to get our opinions out there about the Game of Thrones. And um, we'll be with you guys throughout the entire way. As always, like, share, comment, do all that stuff on, on our social medias, on our YouTube, on all our stuff. Um, don't forget to give us suggestions on any type of different formats you rather hear this discussion in. Mm -hmm. We're always open to suggestions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we hope you have a good week and we'll be back next week for the next episode. Yep. All right. So next time, Bear So Fan.